I always felt that I wanted to be in a profession where I helped people and with my disposition and personality I felt like this was the best fit for me being in law enforcement. And why do you have all of this marijuana on you? Because I was going to smoke it today. Because what? I was going to be honest, I was going to smoke it today. All of that? All of that marijuana you're going to smoke. Bro. I don't believe you. Well, why not? I You're not going to smoke a jar of marijuana. Probation, we generally speaking, deal with people that are already sentenced and uh, we supervise individuals, uh, meaning that we will go out to their house, their job site, we might call them into the office and uh, it's usually for a duration between three to five years. Oftentimes we're acting as social workers because you know we've had a lot of chats recently about you getting Can back on no, hang on i'm not done talking we've had a lot of chats about you starting back in prep getting back on your feet getting was, back into work okay and then we might have to make a very quick switch over into more of a law enforcement oriented side so i'm going to jail right yeah, yeah yeah no for, for sure yeah on a daily basis uh i generally am going out in the field with one of the deputies and we oftentimes will either go to the shelter or the welcome center. We will patrol around the DeWitt Center and the North Auburn area, um, contacting individuals that we know are of a um, homeless or transient by nature. And we'll just communicate with them, talk to them, see what services they may need. The homeless population, when they're on probation, they do face a lot of different challenges than um, somebody else that's on our regular supervision caseload. Transportation might be an issue. Where's is court? Is it up here or is it down the hill? Do you need bus passes? Being able to uh, report to us on a regular basis, they might find that challenging if they're camping or uh, staying somewhere that is not close to the DeWitt Center. So we have uh, meetings, regular weekly meetings set at the shelter where they are directed to meet with us. We've built a great rapport with a lot of these individuals. They feel much more comfortable speaking with us. If there's an issue, they know that they can turn to us and we can assist them with getting them treatment or housing, um, linking them back with their family or reunifying them with their children. So we've definitely um, bridged that gap between law enforcement and health and human services and then the homeless population. Probation uh, does patrol in the mornings and during lunch hours when a lot of our Placer employees are walking to their vehicles or just taking their lunch breaks to ensure that if there are any issues, we are available to respond very quickly and make sure that everybody is safe and comfortable when they come to and from work. When I started this caseload in March of last year, I did receive a case of a female that was on probation for multiple DUIs. Since that time, she has gotten uh, two jobs. She now has a stable living uh, residence, a living environment, and she will be completing probation next week. She's also completed all of her required classes as well and has been able to get her license back. When you see some of these success stories, uh, it's very rewarding. It makes you feel very happy to be doing a job like this that you can really make a difference in people's lives and make a real positive change also for the community as well.